Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to another Crash Bandicoot 4, the Let's Play. It's about time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Crash arrives. And special shout outs to all our members, including our ultimates. If you guys want to hop aboard the membership train, all you got to do is click right here, select the tier that works for you. Yeah. And yes, of course, a very big thank you to our friends Activision and Toys for Bob for providing a copy of this game. You're watching K-Wing's Let's Plays, and it's time for more Crash Bandicoot 4. All right, so today we're doing booty calls and uh, some other crazy crash stuff. I believe we're in a pirate world or something like that. Yep. Okay. So if we earn six diamonds, which we're not going to, and you guys are very clear on that, uh, we will get a pirate skin. But don't be thinking it will happen, so yar. Booty calls. Yar. Yar. Oh. It's a pirate level, I. Yes. <laughs> I like pirate levels, actually. Oh Me my too. goodness. Come on, Crash, you've got this. Oh, wait, are those spikes over? What? They're oh. rats. I don't think I can attack those rats, so let's not and say we did. These rats we can attack, though. So today we're going to have a cool um, stream today later on. Well, you guys, it won't be today when you guys see this. Well, I, they'll probably have a, <laughs> a, yeah, we're starting our um, Star Wars series as a live stream mm -hmm. because, well, I mean, the music is going to uh, cause problems for an upload and, well, I mean, live stream is just easiest. Ooh, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I've heard a lot of good things about the Star Wars Squadron thing. It's not Rogue Squadron, but people have been asking me, is the game any good? I think the game is pretty good. It combines elements of, like, um, flight sim stuff that Amber's always wanted to play, where you have to uh, get your ship uh, ready for flight. So you have to start pressing a bunch of stuff in order to get ready to fly, and... Then you have different things you have to do while you're flying in either an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter, so... Oh, wow. Yes, it's it reminds me of, um... <laughs> when I was a kid, there was a series called X-Wing vs. Tar... Yeah, TIE Fighter. Oh, nice. And, uh, it was a thing that followed a story between... Oh, I had to jump on him, okay. It followed the story, like, with the Rebels. And then it had the Empire, and you would switch off, or either game would focus on that. And then TIE, TIE Fighter versus X-Wing, you played as both during your campaign. You could choose to be either an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter Empire pilot. So in this yeah. one, it has you switch back and forth as the story goes on between the Empire and, uh, of course, the Rebels or the New Republic. So it's pretty well done. I like the story, actually. I'm going to make a crazy character tonight, though, which people might get the Joker. They probably won't. Mm, I, want to okay. make, I want to make Uncle Raja, because this is a really cool-looking Asian guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The, uh, yep. Uncle Roger from YouTube. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep, that's what I can Oh, as a do. pilot? Yeah. Okay. Yep. hi -ya. Yep. That's, okay. that's my plan. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Uncle Roger is like this... Well, he's kind of like a character on YouTube. He's, he's kind of like my favorite character uh, person on YouTube currently. So... The guy who talks about rice? Yep, the rice guy. hi -ya. Yep, I like him. All he talks about is rice. <laughs> the other YouTuber I watch is... Honey, you gotta stop doing that. Oh, it's sorry. a major distraction. I'm just asking nicely. Okay, so we need to jump on top of that dude. So... There we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, Uncle Roger is this person that basically gets all these views because he basically tells celebrities they don't know how to, or like cooking channel, they have no idea how to cook rice. Well, that's because the the real dude, how the character was created, it had to do with um, he has a podcast in real life about rice. Like he uh, he and this one other person. Um, you know, that's the whole thing, is they, they do a podcast talking about rice or whatever, so... they really? wow. Yeah, they reached their, um, Patreon goal or whatever, and he had to perm his hair during the, you know, the virus thing. So he, he permed his, oops, he did his hair, and I guess, like, during the course of that, his hair got all messed up, and that's how the Uncle Roger character was born. Kind of. Oh, okay. That's yeah. interesting. That, and he did this weird skit where he became, like, the Chinese version of, um, Alexa. 
or oh, but okay. he was like a talking rice cooker. It's really funny, actually. You could see that that was kind of like the beginning of the Uncle Roger oh, yeah. character. Oh yeah, so he kind of made the character based off of what he said was like every Chinese uncle that he knew growing up, or something like yep. that. Yep, it's actually. I mean. You know, it, it's uh, a fun little novelty. Well, I find it really interesting because, like, I came across it because I was trying to learn to cook fried, fried rice, and mm -hmm. it's just interesting when you have Western chefs trying to cook Asian food. A lot of times they get, like, extremely important parts of it completely wrong. Like, like they're, you know, they're really good at every other cooking, but it's like, when it comes to, like, something that's very simple for a lot of like you know people from china and stuff to cook like they cook it every day mm -hmm. they get that they get parts completely wrong like they'll you know like you know like adding water to the rice after it's already in the pan like ah not usually what like people do like i don't know like draining the rice not not you know just like all kinds of weird things that you know we're adding olive oil it's like all these things oh my gosh all these things that if you did that in your you know in china people would just look at you like what is wrong with you like oh no so yeah i thought it was very interesting because i mean like i had to learn that in my you know culinary school about different types of oils like you know you wouldn't you know there's like sesame avocado you know like regular vegetable oil etc you know olive oil you wouldn't put there's so many things like that you wouldn't actually put olive oil in because it has such a strong taste it would right. make, it would make your rice taste like it was italian rice it wouldn't taste like asian rice anymore did they give us a checkpoint i don't know uh, oh i have a bad feeling about this and yes i know you guys uh have been oh gosh that's not nitro i got i panicked i thought i see green i immediately think oh gosh i'm gonna blow up but um yes this this game is gonna be really challenging for me because um, Crash Bandicoot platforming um, isn't necessarily my bag and um, I need to make a correction from the last video. Yes, I realize that Toys for Bob did not make the last uh, Crash Bandicoot. That was Vicarious Visions. Um, Toys for Bob made the first new Crash Bandicoot game in uh, over 10 years, which is oh, this one. Okay. And it it is because Activision uh, are the ones that have the rights to Crash now, I believe. Oh, all right, I guess. So this is a canical sequel, but it's just made by a different company. And Toys for Bob um, actually made Crash Bandicoot like Crash Bandicoot, which, but they added that fun little modern mode, which makes it possible for someone like me to go through and mm -hmm. probably beat it. We'll see. We'll see. I don't. Oh, wow. So yeah, leave it to our commenters to always catch stuff in the comments. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. All right, there's a checkpoint for us. And those crab characters, you can actually attack them from behind. They kind of have their underwear showing oh, a my little gosh. bit. You can see the tear. So then you just like target them. Um, I gotcha. You have to pay attention to all the enemies and crash in order to um, yeah, take them out. It, it feels like Crash is like an ultimate platformer. It's like oh. I feel like. It's very difficult. Like, Crash is one of those platformers that goes forward, mm -hmm. whereas, you know, Mario is usually side scrolling, so it's completely different. It's just like. It can be very difficult because of the perception thing. Like, yeah. It's hard to see exactly where your platforms are when you can't see the next one yet, and you have to jump and then figure out where it is. I don't know. It's just. Some, sometimes it's like almost like Ooh. it's a completely different type of platformer. See how his underwear was showing? You could take him out. Now these enemies, yeah. as far as I know, the rats with the swords, you can't um, you can't attack them. So you, it's just best Ooh. to avoid them altogether. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what type of platform thing that's going to be. That might be important. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, that was stupid. I don't <laughs> And the octopus is, of course, attacking him from above! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! Alright. Alright, alright. I don't really know why I came over here. This is death. Okay, we're gonna go to this little platform. My problem is I overthink things a bit too much, and I think that's where a lot of my deaths come from as well. Um, but I do like this. I feel like the difficulty and stuff is based on player error, and not necessarily the game. It's a very hard platformer, but... Um, I think after you, you figure out what you're doing, um, it makes things 
uh, a little better. Yeah. So, I mean... Like, after you get used to the idea of it. Yeah, that way there's there's no surprises. Oh, I thought I got him. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's considered... I mean, I don't think I can play Crash, but it's... It's fun to watch you play it, though. It's oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Yeah. Right. I do like all those little expressions and stuff. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, I mean, I, I love... Um, cartoon well, stuff, so... I mean, you actually introduced me to, into Crash Bandicoot because I didn't really play it at all. Like, growing up, I didn't even... So this was, like, on usually Sony systems, like... PlayStation, Crash the original. Yeah. yeah. They actually brought back... I was watching uh, our YouTube channel uh, this morning or afternoon or <laughs> two seconds ago. They had a um, Crash Bandicoot... Uh, they had the old school commercials again, so... He has, he's oh, in wow. a he's in a suit with his face showing, like the real person's face, and he's oh, in wow. the yeah, very similar to his um, uh, Crash Three and Crash Insane trilogy like commercials. Oh wow! Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, yeah. The Crash Bandicoot PlayStation commercials were always a hoot. So that's um, kind of what the Toys for Bob character uh, mm. did as well. Like the, nice. that studio. Yeah. It works out really well. I wonder if they, like, kept the same suit from, like, last time they did the Crash remake. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Of course, more Crash characters. I wish I could be good enough to get the diamonds, but mm. I can't. You could if you had, like, all day or whatever. Oh! Or if you had... New character! If you didn't have so many other things on your plate right now. Uh-oh. Crash and Coco are in trouble. No, poor Crash. I wish it was Crash and his girlfriend, honestly, but... Oh, oh. speak oh, of the speaking devil. Of. This is now Crash's girlfriend hey, in this guys, game. I'm Wait, where? I don't see his girlfriend. That's his girlfriend right there. And she got a redesign. Wait, is she... Did she capture Crash's girlfriend? I'm so confused. Where's uh, Crash's girlfriend? This is, this is her. No, it's not! I know, she used to look like a blonde, bond, ah, blonde bombshell, and now she looks like this. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, this is not Crash's girlfriend, no this, way. This is Crash's girlfriend now. <laughs> Alright, so okay, let's see what we're well, working with. Okay, well, I'll try to let that sink in. Yep, just let that <laughs> sink in. Let that sink in. There we go. Ooh. So it looks I mean, like I like her. I mean, I wouldn't mind if they just changed her outfit, but her hair is all different. I don't like that, and her face. Yep. Everything's all messed up. Yeah. What were you gonna say? So oh, it looks. Like, it looks like what, honey? Oh, she's got a grappling hook. Cool. Grappling hook. Well, I mean, I was uh, talking to the Al, the PR person at Activision, and they said that I never say her name right. It's either t uh, it's Tanya or Tanya. I think it's Tanya. But, um, she, uh, is supposed to be from another dimension in this one, so she doesn't look necessarily like their, um... Oh, so she's a different version of Crash's girl. Well, I mean, it's, it's like a time and space, like, multiverse travel game, because there are different Crash Bandicoot characters that have... Oh, I got eaten somehow. Oh, sorry, I, I reached in front of you, that's why. Sorry. I'm fine. Oh, gosh. All right, let's go with... I don't, oh, I think you know what I'm supposed to do? My grappling hook. I'm trying to look up Crash's girlfriend's name. Um, it's spelled weird, but it starts with a T. So it's like T-A-W-N-A, -A, I think is how you pronounce her name. Hookshot. Oh gosh, what? No! Tana. Whatever, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool! I, I can use my hookshot whenever I want. She made her debut in the first... Very first Crash game. Very first Crash game. And you're always saving her. Although, in one of the games, she's actually a bad guy. Because Crash goes through all that stuff to save her, and then they don't... Uh, you know. Oh, wow. It doesn't work out. That's and and cool. they made they made that kind of funny. Oh, well, I see. I mean, I mean, you never know. It's not like just because you save her doesn't mean that it's like guaranteed she's going to go on a date with you. Well, she was actually seeing <laughs> uh, one of the bad guy bosses in the game. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. That works out. All right. I'm starting to understand this a little bit. Okay. That's a cannonball of death. So. I mean, it's nice. Like, I mean, if, if somebody, if guy goes through all that for you, it's like, oh, 
like a lot of times a girl will be like, oh my god, this is so sweet. So and this then... is a drastic change compared to what she looked like just even the last game. Because she yeah. did appear in the last one a little bit. She's a fun character to play as, though. That's the thing. That grappling hook ability of hers, very cool. Oh. I guess I was supposed to just jump on that dude's no. head. She's got a wall jump ability. So every character has, like, a different thing. She's like... Alternator Storm. <laughs> kind of. What? Yeah. It's like she has, like, a mohawk going on or something. Yeah, she's got... She looks more like, um, 80s Storm than she does Crash Girlfriend. But yeah. that's okay. What else? I mean, Storm had really long hair, too, before, and then, like... Yeah, and then she got like a mohawk in another earth, so maybe it's the same idea. Don't know. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, oh whoa! Gosh, the guy has so many spikes. Yeah, you gotta hit him in the butt. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of like humor like that in this game. Well, yeah. I mean, Crash Bandicoot was based on the idea of like Warner and. Um, no, I, actually, it's probably just Looney Tune character stuff. Whoa, why, are, why is it not letting you get the rope? That's weird. My oh, because I need to be up higher. Oh, see, that's I a perception that. thing. Yeah. No, I didn't see it either, though. It's like not even just. I mean, I feel like it's hard for me too, like or for anyone. <laughs> just like when we were playing that Mario game, and like I felt it was easier for me to get rid of the distractions in the game, like for me. That was actually oh, <laughs> spikes there. That was a fun Mario game. Yeah, I just hope that we get our modernization back for it. Oh, yeah. Because, like, it, they took it away, and, like, I... It's hilarious, because during the video, I was talking about how I feel like we're censored for certain things, and they take away our modernization, and then on the video, they took away our modernization. Yeah. So it's like, okay, so even for talking about them taking my modernization, they take my modernization. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. just weird. Wait for it, and swing! Oh. Yeah, and I need some, uh, some stuff. Hmm? Um, some tea, I was gonna... I have a little... I don't know, my boys are just scratchy for some reason, I don't know why. Oh gosh! Maybe, like, knowing all the oh, streams gets oh, to me. Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. So I had a nice, peaceful day with my cat, they were just, like, hanging out. That's good to know! I like that. Oh god. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, did I? I didn't do it. I was trying to write something and I got a little frustrated, so after that I kind of stressed myself out. Okay. Alright, so this one. Yeah. But, here. yeah, my cats were just oh, chilling. Oh my gosh! I like when they just sit by the window and they're just completely chilling. Well, they're adorable that way. They're adorable. Uh, uh, oh! Why did I do that wrong? I mean,. I like right how that she time. has leg warmers, that's kind of cute. But would be even cuter is if she had a little skirt with leg warmers, honestly. They didn't need to change your hair that drastically, though. I think they wanted to make it definitely look like you could know she's alternate Earth, so she's completely different. Yeah, I think you're correct. Like, otherwise she would just, like, if they change one thing, like, she almost looked the same. I mean, for me, I feel like if I really did mean an alternate Earth version of myself, I might, in my mind, it not, might not even look any different at all. I feel like, in reality, if there were alternate oh. Earths, mm, which is possible that there are, like, I feel like sometimes maybe the person wouldn't look that different. Mm -hmm. Like, you might even be able to pose for your alternate Earth self. I think it would have been funny if she still looked the way she did, but she was just this kick butt. That's that's what they call humor, though. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Instead of having to look like your kick butt, mm -hmm. like she kind of like looks the same, like she's all like cute and sweet, but then it's like, oh wait, what? What's going on? It's like, oh yeah, I'm a different version of myself. Surprise! So kind of like a different version of like how. Uh, Daphne and like um, Scooby Doo used to be like mm -hmm. always getting captured, but then they played her differently. Like when yep. she was played by that one girl that plays like I Sarah don't know. Michelle Gellar. Yeah, that girl. Buffy. Yeah. Yeah, and then she wanted to make her a different personality, which was very cute. Yep. Man, I do need some tea. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. I like playing as her though. Her moveset is very cool. That grappling hook really changes things up. 
I feel like they make the girliness comes out with her character. Oh no! Because she has like so much pink on. She's got the pink like warmers and stuff. Alright, so we're that going out. Go on over here. Oh, okay. Oh, a lot of mangoes you're getting. Yeah, I don't remember what all the mangoes do. Alright, we're gonna let him turn around. Oh, there we go. So it acts as a stun ability too. I feel like Donkey Kong Country kind of looks like Crash Bandicoot sometimes. I would love a Donkey Kong Country with this kind of. I wonder if they got like they took some ideas from Crash to make Donkey Kong. No, other way around. Okay. Donkey Kong Country came out first. Oh, okay. Crash okay. came out later. Oh. Uh, I don't like. Oh the idea of this. my gosh, Luke. Whoops. Whoop. Missed it by that much. Missed it by quite a bit. <laughs> Die! Alright, you know what? We're just gonna... Oh, that didn't work. <gasps> okay, please, work. That's so fun. Okay, this time we're gonna swing on this. Just be completely even with it, and jump! Yay! I did it. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna work. Good job, Tana. I had I had my doubts. I would about call her it. Tawny, but I guess her name is Tana. I guess we'll find out. Maybe Crash calls her Tawny. Probably. Mm. I, I like how that. they didn't make her um a bad guy in, or like using him like in the, oh, ver yeah, the very yeah, like first that one. one game. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that was her in the first game. She just like. He did all that stuff for her, and then she was just like, oh, thanks a lot, see ya. You probably don't remember, but uh, uh, she- there was this character that had a machine gun, and he wore, like, a pinstripe suit. That was the other guy she was seeing. Oh, wow. So Crash beat him up. Did- is- are you even gonna cut them down? Okay, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait, Tana? But you're... different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. We lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what did we like die or something? What? No, nope, no, but no, definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> the usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh. So, uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Gems? Masks. Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Sorry, I fly solo. But I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. <laughs> Why'd she punch... Crash on the head, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. So... They... No, I don't think they lost touch with her because they just saw her in the previous game. I think. I thought they did. I thought so they that's not... That's time. not their... I'm glad they explained it like that. That way they can do something different with the character without, like, alienating the fans of said character. That's really smart. Yeah. But she seemed to know who they were. Yeah, of course. All right, timeless unlocked. Uh, you got her. She has her own agenda. Play her timeline to see how she crosses paths with Crash and Coco. Cool. All right. Nice. Oh, so her timeline is pink. Okay. Mm, Jetboard Jetty. I actually kind of want to keep playing as her. Uh, is this her thing right here? Oh wait, that's another flashback the, tape. Is it the pink thingy there? No, it's the one over... let's see. I think... Oh, maybe there. Not. She's over here. She was back here in the junk land. Oh, okay. I got you. Sorry, I hiccuped. Or we could always do... you know what? We're gonna do the, um... What do you call it? Bonus level. This is really interesting because it's like you're in space and then you're literally jumping timelines because each timeline has like a little piece of shattered... Mm -hmm. shattered dimension. Totally. Mm. Okay, Alright, flashback tape. So these flashback tapes are basically like the old school Crash Bandicoot bonus things. Where you have to jump on crates. And these tapes are supposed to be... Believe it or not, Crash Bandicoot was the, um... 
what do they call it? Test subject of Dr. Cortex, and he escapes. Or something like that. I think that's what the story of Crash is. Alright, so I have to hit the boxes. Darn it. Oh, why can't I do this? And the VCR thing is a nice effect, too. So this is like what classic Crash Bandicoot stuff was like. I guess. It's how they're explaining it on the interwebs. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. What is that fruit? Wait, cr classic Crash Bandicoot was more side-scrolling then? I'm so good. The bonus levels were. Oh, bonus. Okay. So they did both then. They did regular front scrolling and then like side scrolling for bonus. Well, they were trying to show all the things that the PlayStation could do. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. <gasps> That's a Ooh. One. I made it to a checkpoint, so it's not all bad. I mean, they add a lot of stuff in the background of this like, to make it look really cool. Mm -hmm. I don't even... Oh, that's Neo Cortex. I'm just... Yes. He is playable in this game. Uh, I mean, he was in the demo that I played. That'll be over the course of the story, probably. Just like mm. how Crash's girlfriend... Oh, gosh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was insane, Luke. I didn't think that was going to so work. So, if you jump on the TNT, you, you blow up. The TNT or the Nitro. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Made it. Nice job. Well done, yeah. I don't get why his sister talks, but Crash doesn't talk. Um. Just because Crash never talked before. I guess you could say that. Or maybe he doesn't just talk on camera. Who knows? Yeah. All right, so we are doing what is this? Jet board jetty. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, you doing okay? Yeah, my ears buzzing on one side of my head. Other than that, I'm fine. Oh, uh, you ready for this crash? More or less. Ooh, another crazy platforming level. Okay. So, again, those spikes swing back and forth. I can't hit those because that's death. So that's an obstacle I have to avoid. There we go. Uh, oh, it's swinging sideways. That's not nice. Just when I'm figuring out how to swing on the ropes, then they change things up. Now, I think I could slide under this. There we go. Yep. No worries. Yeah. And that's got fiery death, so you have to wait for the fire to go away, and then you can break all that stuff. Oh. Otherwise, if you try to go up to it when it's... When it's spurting fire? Then you die. Whoa, look, look at all those spiky things in that. What? It's like... Oh, it does look very piratey. Yar. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna I mean, be a pirate boss. If you think about it, like, with all those knives and stuff, this... I mean, this is rated teen, isn't it? Um... It might be E. I don't know. Oh, wow. I, I haven't... It's hard for me to see what ratings of digital games are, because, you know, Activision gave it to us digitally. Um, whoa. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah, that, that should have been a death there. I mean, I would think back in the day this would be rated T, you know? Um, maybe because of the girlfriend it was rated T. I don't remember. I'd have to check. I don't... <laughs> Oh my gosh. I always think it's weird, like, I guess. Because the girlfriend was modeled after uh, Pamela Anderson or something. Okay. That's why everybody was kind of like, oh, this is weird. Um, how she looks now. But they already explained it's an alternate version of the character. So it's not, it's not Crash and Coco's version. So it works. Yeah. Uh, how do, how do I get out now? Maybe you have to go in the middle of those two things. Oh. Oh, look at that, Amber. I'm just really good at, I don't know, just... Common sense stuff? Just stuff that I know how, like... I don't know, I guess I know how the average person would think. Uh, oh. oh. Whereas, Luke is always thinking outside the box. Yeah, I guess you could say that. That makes sense. Well, I hope you had a good morning so far. Yeah, I'm just having a little issue with my ears. Whoops. We'll have to get you a doctor's appointment. Yeah, I'll try to call them tomorrow. They're not open anymore today, I don't believe. 
Can always leave a message or something. Yeah. Okay, so I need to be very careful about this. Oh, come on! Could have probably just late. You didn't have to slide. You think I could just walk, walk under it? You. Oh, okay. You're right. You. Look at that. I wasn't even thinking that. Amber's just like, you can totally do this. Oh. Well, I mean, there it was a little difficult, but there you have to jump. Okay, maybe so far it hasn't worked, but. Okay, maybe it hasn't worked one time, but I feel like. <sighs> Whoa. There we go. Alright, I think I'm starting to... But, <gasps> yay. <gasps> oh, there's nitros. Oh! Okay. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, there he is. Throws the bone, hit him in the face. Wait, how do you hit him in the face with your swirly thing? Like yeah, his, his spin ability. Mm hmm. Swirly thing. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. I had, I had that mask. Um, thing for protection. Oh, we made a checkpoint. Wait, how am I supposed to take? I don't have the grappling hook now. Wh how? I guess I have to wait for his pattern experiment. Okay. All right. Well, that was weird. Oh my goodness. And if I hit anything, I probably blow up or crash. Yep. One I hit, one death. I have a random question. Oh, completely random. Mm. So, like, how? What is like Tony Hawk Pro Skater rated then? Teen. Or why would it be rated teen though? Since there's nothing violent in it. Uh, That's what I don't understand. The realistic falling damage, maybe. That uh -huh. someone could fall down on the cement is teen rating. Well, I mean, people get hurt in the game. I don't know. It just feels like. I just was wondering, why does a game have to have, like, violence to be geared towards teenagers? Whoa. I don't know, there's other things teenagers like to do. Like... Oh. Right. If there was a game about just talking on the phone forever, I wonder if that would be rated teen. Since it's what teenagers like. Mm, I don't know, I don't, I'm just weird. I don't think so. Oh, those are gonna fall. That's not nice. And we got the crazy sharks back again. Mm, you look so weird Whoa. in your super suit. It's not really a super suit. He's wearing... So, mm. how they explained it is you collect the masks in this game. Where's my super suit? <laughs> That's gonna fall. Yep. Alright, there we go. Oh, wow. So you could actually ah! be someone on that. A little bit. Oh. But yeah, you use Cute. these different masks to masks. take advantage of uh, these special vortex powers. I guess. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right now. All right. This is not going to stay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. I'm getting the hang of this now a little bit. Although I don't want to jinx myself because death is always around the corner in Crash Bandicoot. Never, uh, you know, expect the unexpected, more or less. Now we got enemies I have to avoid. Hooray! Yeah! Um, so I gotta avoid cannonballs and whirlpools. Yikes. No! No! Just let me by, please. Is that how I jump? Oh, there was like a shiny mango back there. I don't, I don't worry about shiny, shiny mango right now. I just. Oh, this guy looks vicious coming up on you. Oh, he is following you. That's not nice. It's pretty crazy, Luke. <gasps> Shiny Mango! Shiny Mango! Oh, gosh! Oh, wow. So if he hits you even one time, your boat gets almost... Oh, my gosh. Make me do it again. Yeah, we're gonna avoid the Shiny Mango. Mm -hmm. If at all possible. Oof. Oh, you have to get those people to hit them. The, um... No, they do it on their own. They, they totally do that by themselves. Okay. Oops. No, please. Ooh. You can still get it. He wasn't even anywhere near it. Uh. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that little explosion to go off. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh. Come on, crash! They didn't crash into it. Oh no! Not again! Ooh. I feel like you have to move yourself halfway between the bomb and- Yeah, like that. So that you make him walk into it. Okay. 
<laughs> oh. Ooh, I could be wrong though. You may be wrong. You may be wrong. You can actually Oh. You can actually stomp those to get the Yeah, you can break even though there's has metal on it. Mm-hmm. You can break it by slamming down on it. Yeah. Totally. That's how they roll. Oh no. Whoa! Oh come on! Mmm. Three hours later. Uh, Excuse me. Let me not get hit by this, please. Okay. Come on. I was doing it perfect before. Ah! There we go. Go away. Woo! Mango! Almost. Nuts! Oh, you almost got him to blow up. Almost is not good enough. It's okay. He'll probably blow up at one of these kind of things. Watch out. Okay. Yeah! Okay. Oh, man. Oh, Luke. You're gonna die. No, I'm okay. Oh, good job. Good. Oh, goodness! Oh, Checkpoint. So, so when those guys hit those mm. um, mines or whatever, then they take out themselves and the mine. Well, I mean, that makes sense, right? Yeah. A little bit. Sweet. Not sweet. Oh, well, this is... What? Ow! Ew, something is weird going on here. Watch out! How am I supposed to Oh hurt my him? gosh, get the guy to hit him! Yeah! Oh, what do you know? Smart, Amber. Oh my Amber. gosh. So we just lead these, mean... lead these guys right into... There we go. Wow. That works. Oh, That almost. works. Oh my gosh. Turn around and get it, rat thing. Oh. Shadow, don't. Not now, Shadow. Haha! You got him! Oh gosh. This is gross. It's pretty clever though. Like yeah. using the rat thingies to attack. Yep. You like. You can use your boost to. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. There we go. Come on. Oh. Oh. We got hit once. Whoop! I, I think we won. Nice! We destroyed Lewis. That was his name? Or it might have been Louie. Oh. Level complete. Jetboard Jetty. Oh, and I got, uh, two diamonds that time. Good job! I don't really know how I did that, but okay. <laughs> Akano! Old yeah. Dark Matter himself! A careful crash. He's heavier than... <laughs> uh. Oh, good! You're awake! <sighs> Alright! Two masks down, two to go. Feeling a little less panicked. I, I was at a 10 before, now I'm at a solid, let's say, 9.78. Oh yeah, these bandicoots are here to help. Bandicoot. Mm, follow. Short and to the point. Love this guy. <laughs> but that was awkward. Yeah, that was awkward. All right, so that's gonna unlock a whole new area for us. Ooh, it's gonna be Japanese themed. Ooh, very cool. The pink cherry blossom trees. Totally. All right, so Ooh. anyway, guys and gals, that is gonna do it for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah. Thanks again, Activision, for providing a copy of this game. And if you guys are looking for more Crash, hit up the playlist. And I'll see you guys at 6 and 8 o'clock today for an awesome live stream on something else. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. See ya!